my name is uh, Dennis Bellamy. Well, Dennis, could you p please tell us what you remember about the Silver Bridge collapse? Well, the, the day the bridge collapsed, uh, I was in the third grade at the time. Of course, we were home on Christmas break. And uh, my father and I were actually supposed to go to the grocery store, the Tiny's grocery store, which was on the other side of the bridge where we always shopped. And uh, I didn't want to go. In fact, oh, I went down the street and climbed up the top of the tree because I didn't want to go. And I was sitting up in that tree. And uh, my mother was at a doctor's appointment where the Iron Gate Grill restaurant is currently is at, right beside the bridge when the bridge fell. And my mother thought one of the power plants had had an explosion. The, the, the metal crashing on the bridge was so loud that, that everyone in town ran to the river to see what happened. And of course, the bridge was gone, and my mother said the only thing she remembers about it vividly, because she was in shock like everybody else, was cars and Christmas gifts floating, floating in the river. And then my mother remembered that my father and I were supposed to be going to Gapolis that day to go to the store, so she came home immediately. And my most vivid memory is sitting on top of that tree, seeing my mother come down the street. And when she saw me, there was tears in her eyes. And I was from a generation you didn't disobey your parents, so I thought I was going to get thrashed. And she told me to get out of that tree right now. And when I did, she hugged and kissed me. And, and uh, I wasn't quite sure what was going on. And, uh, but that was, that was my memory of, of the when that bridge fell down. Now one of the girls in my third grade class went down on that bridge with her mother. And of course, uh, there, you know, there was an empty seat there. But, and then the other thing I remember about it was we played baseball in Cogger Creek in the tournaments that year. And everyone had to ride the ferries and we'd never seen ferries before. And, and there about the first two or three trips, it was pretty exciting to get to ride the ferries. Till about several months later, it was a pain to wait in lines to ride those ferries because we all shop in Galveston. It's like one community. And uh, uh, but uh, and then watching that new bridge go up, that was amazing. It was I, don't know, I think it was the fastest they'd ever built a bridge at that that time. But you know the the new Silver Bridge is about the same age as the old Silver Bridge now. Uh, uh, but it, it affects everybody here. Everybody, I know when the Mothman Prophecies movie came out, a lot of people had a hard time watching that bridge fall. In fact, they said a lot of people got out and walked out of the theater. I've still never seen it. I don't want to see it, uh, even though we work with people about that movie every day. But I don't, I don't need to see that bridge, bridge fall again. And uh, just to kind of I used to have to work in New York a lot for a company where I, I, our corporate offices were in New York. And I got stuck on a bridge in New York in a taxi cab with some of our other workers. And uh, I got out and walked off the bridge. And I remember here when I got out, that taxi cab driver said, what's his problem? And my friend said, he's from Point Pleasant. The guy goes, oh, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I don't sit on bridges, and uh, not not for any amount of time. I'll tell you that. So, but it was funny. Even a taxi cab driver in New York didn't question when they they said where I was from. So, it wasn't a long walk off that bridge, but it, it was. I wasn't sitting on there any longer. We were bumper to bumper traffic, and about halfway up, and I was, after about 15 minutes, I was like, "I'm out of here. You go pick me up <laughs> on the ground." So. Uh, yeah, we don't we don't like sitting on bridges. Although bridges are you know an everyday part of our life here, you got to cross bridges all the time. But I don't like sitting on them, and uh, uh, I'm, it's, it's it, but it's just become a huge part of I work in tourism now. So people come in and we have to talk about it all the time. And now with of course. The, Mothman and all the people who come in for it, the bridge is a big part of it as well. And, uh, but, but, it, it, uh, for people my age and older,
like I said, I was in the third grade. They, they still have very, very vivid memories of that. Uh, did you go investigate the area after the collapse? You were in the third grade, you ride your bike down there to see what was going on? Well, everybody went down there. You know, wanted to see what was going on and, and watched them drag all the cars and all the metal out onto the bank and watch the divers go down and look for bodies and, and um, it, it, yeah, I mean, everyone kind of, but it was Christmas time too, and that was that was rough. You you know what I mean? It was uh, that was a rough Christmas, and and uh, but you know sometimes like it, uh, when you're in the third grade, your your kids kids can go through a lot without getting you know what I mean too right. involved, and and I guess you know the memories of me were holding up my baseball games, you know, and and having to ride the ferry and. Uh, you know, pretty soon you just move on when you're that young, and I, now you think about it, I'm sure the, the adults that, that lost people on that bridge will never forget it, but uh, just like the kids all just sort of moved on. And uh, same way with the Mothman, everyone, we figured everybody had a monster, <laughs> it wasn't that big a deal to us. So uh, anyway, we... we you know, when you're a child, you got way, you got you got other things on your mind. It's a uh, unique in a sense that the bridge has gone from a tragedy to being a tourist attraction. How does that affect your job? Well, uh, our River Museum has uh, everything you want to know about the Silver Bridge, and people come here still wanting to to know about it and interested in it and doing school projects on it and TV shows. We've made so many. We, uh, we we made a lot of Mothman TV shows, but everyone wants to film about the bridge and the Mothman too, even though there's no real connection. But although all this was happening at the same time, and uh, you know, I guess uh, I got all kinds of phone calls the day the bridge fell, and I think it was Minnesota. Uh, right. I mean, believe me, and national media came here first. To fit the interview people from Point Pleasant, I mean, it's not something that happens to a lot of communities. Let's face it. But, I mean, a lot of hurricanes happen every every day, and 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 tornadoes, and uh, but a bridge collapsing, a full bridge collapsing with with people on it is is pretty rare. Uh, I understand it really made a difference in the way they inspected bridges from then on, uh, uh, but. As far as tourism, yeah, we we get a tremendous amount of people because of the because of that, and and uh, most people are willing to talk about it, you, you know, and share their their feelings with with, with the people here. But there's a, a incredible collection at the River Museum. You can see the you, there's a replica, a small replica of the bridge with all the cars where they were at on on the bridge and the people that were in in all the different vehicles and and there's a piece of the, the bridge there that they can show you exactly what happened that made it collapse. Uh, there's, there's footage from the TV shows at that time. You can go right back into that time with watching the TV shows and reading the newspapers and seeing all that and really uh, get a feel for what, what happened back then. And uh, there's not, fortunately, you know, that's history when it was recorded, but now you know, Probably there would have been 20 people filming it on their iPhones. Uh, now, if you think think about it, uh, or at least all the people that were waiting in line to get on would have been, would have filmed it on their iPhones. But uh, uh, you can record. Most people can record history now out of their back pocket. But but back then, it, there's no footage. There's no footage of the bridge falling at all. So just the aftermath. Anything else you want to share with us? Uh, I can't think of anything uh, other, other than if people are interested in the history of that. Uh, you go to give your number if you like. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll be happy, to, you know, to, to give them a tour, and uh, you can uh, look it up on on our website, which is amazingcountytourism.org, and uh, you can go to the River Museum's website from there, and the websites for everything here, and. Uh, Come and visit. Check it out if you're if you're interested.